It wasn't until I spoke to my mum last night on the phone that I was like, Mum, I think it's jealousy. And I feel really, really weird even admitting that because I don't want to be jealous of her. solo as you all know if you saw last week's vlog and if you've seen on the instagram post em is out living her best life in sunny 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 thailand it is sunny 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 cornwall here today but the wind is bitter and my ears are freezing the paths that we are hacking on have showed just how much rain we've had recently this is not oh don't tell me you want to drink it no good carry you're gonna play in it like Spritey would. I knew you wanted to drink it, you weirdo. There's muddy water banks. Nice. Yeah, this shows just how much rain we've had because it's not normally like this down here. Horrendous. But we're making the most of the fact it's not raining at the moment. There's blue sky and sunshine. And we're out together, aren't we, Banks? Having a mooch. I honestly did not think I would be riding today. The forecast was absolutely, come on, keep moving. You'll sink otherwise, it's that muddy, come on. The forecast was absolutely horrendous. 50 to 60 mile an hour winds, which I think are building up more this afternoon. I think I've just got to be quick and get back in good time. But also like 99% chance of torrential rain and flooding. And as you can see, thankfully at the minute, not a cloud in the sky even, it's lush apart from chilly but it's lush not to have rain for the first time in like forever so again you'll have seen if you follow on instagram if you don't make sure you do because <laughs> daily updates are posted there but you'll have seen that i am this weekend making a how to vlog vlog now i'm not going to pretend i'm an expert however i have been doing it for three years now and do absolutely love 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 vlogging hence still doing it even though flying solo this weekend. I did an um and ah uh about doing a weekly vlog also alongside the how to vlog vlog but it just seemed weird not so. <laughs> so therefore I am currently making two this weekend which will be fun it'll keep me busy that's for sure. Keep my mind off the fact that I'm not living my best life in Thailand. How not to vlog? Stop sniffling and sniffling <laughs> but it can't be helped. You can edit these things out which I'll show you how to do in the how to vlog vlog. Basically, I'm coming on to do a weekly vlog also because I feel like I just need to let out some emotion. It's a really, really, really strange feeling. Cheers, birds. It's a really strange feeling missing Emily. It's not, it's so hard to describe. And I felt that if I come on here and talk about it, then it will sort of make me feel a bit better, hopefully. It's, it's jealousy. It downright is jealousy. And it's an emotion that I have never, ever, ever, I'm very lucky to have never felt that emotion in my life. And I couldn't describe it for the first couple of days that she went away. I was just like, oh, I just feel so strange. I know I'm gonna miss her, but I can't miss her already because she's only been gone a couple of days. And there'll be times at home that we don't see each other for that amount of time. You know, we can see, we can not see each other from one weekend to the next and I don't miss her. But knowing that she's gone, so 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 far away and is living this absolutely insane crazy adventure and we do so many insane crazy adventures together generally in this country not all the way over in thailand but it just feels so 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 weird and i couldn't put my finger on the feeling that i was feeling it was just so strange it wasn't until i spoke to my mum last night on the phone that i was like mum i think it's jealousy and i feel really really weird even admitting that because i don't want to be jealous of her but at the same time, I think I am. And like I said, I'm so lucky to not have experienced that feeling 
you know, you have the odds, like tiny little bout of jealousy when somebody buys something new and you're like, oh, I wish I could have that. But I've never had an intense form of jealousy in my life. Like I don't get, I'm not a jealous person. I don't get at all upset. Oh, bumped into friends and didn't even realize there's me merrily going along vlogging. And I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> but I had to stop recording by that point. Yeah, what I was saying was I don't get at all jealous if like, say we're on a night out and Rob was talking to other women or texts came through from another woman or I don't look at his phone. I just, I'm just not a jealous person. If somebody does better at me in a competition, it doesn't bother me at all. Like, I just, I don't know. I'm very lucky to not experience that emotion. It's just not part of me. I'm, yeah, it's really, really hard to describe, but when I was speaking to my mummy last night, she did make me realise, she's like, that's not a bad thing. You are allowed to feel like that. And I was like, yeah, but I just feel so bad admitting it. Obviously, I want Emily to have the absolute best time, enjoy every second. And yeah, I'm really, really, really chuffed for her. Proud that she made the big leap to go all that way. And yeah, it's just, oh, I can't even describe it. It's so, 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 so weird. But at the same time, I suppose it kind of just shows how much I care, I guess. Does it? I don't know. It's... Oh, I'm all goosebumpy now, even just talking about it. It's so strange. But I just felt I needed to sort of explain it in order to help my head understand the feeling. Because like I said, not felt this ever, ever, ever before in my life. I wonder how Rob felt when I went to Detroit. I wonder if he felt a bit like this. Because I went to Detroit with work quite a few years ago. It was only for five days. He probably didn't. He's not a jealous person. He probably didn't feel like that at all. Gonna look at that, thanks. Oh, no. Good boy. Good boy! You got your new ears on, haven't you? You may need sorting out. Anyways, now that's off my chest, I'm gonna go and enjoy my hack with my boy. I've got friends coming over tonight, Steph and Bryony. So that'll be nice to have a girly catch up. I sort of, Steph messaged me in the week. She's like, do you wanna do something Saturday night? Steph is who used to keep Stormy her horse with me. And I was like, yeah, that'd be good. That'd be nice. Take my mind off the fact my bestie's a million miles away. I'm going to keep myself busy this afternoon filming and editing a how to edit a vlog vlog, which just sounds random. Not really sure what the name of that one's gonna be yet. But I'm gonna try my best to get that one done and sorted and uploaded by tomorrow night. So Sunday night, that one should go live. And then this vlog, which I'm filming at the moment, will be my normally weekly vlog that will go live on Tuesday evening. And oh my goodness, another lake. It's horrendous. That is never like that here. Is it though? So, yep, that's my plan. Girly night tonight. Gym in the morning, so must not drink too much. Only a couple of gins for me. And then, depending on what the weather's doing, Steph is competing in the riding club combined training qualifiers tomorrow. So I may well, after the gym, pop up there and show her a bit of support and get some horsey content for the vlog. This feeling like it's starting now, starting now. Oh, I didn't drop that bit out, but obviously this is just a demonstration. It's now a fair few hours later and I have been vlog editing the how to vlog vlog. I've been struggling, I'm not gonna lie. It's quite hard to explain how you do things because I do most of it on autopilot. I just do it without realizing. So actually trying to explain and actually trying to film yourself do something on your phone, using your phone, turned out to be something I didn't quite think through. So I had to borrow Robbo's phone to film how I do it on my phone. Yeah, I overcomplicated it a little bit. Um, but I've decided, blah, 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 I've decided to come and get the ponies in because we just had the biggest hailstorm ever. And I thought, I don't want them getting soaking wet and freezing cold. Ooh, so I thought I would come and get them in, but I can't see them. I thought they may well be waiting. I mean, it's absolutely freezing. Ooh, 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 ooh. See that air? When it does that, that's when you know it's cold. Horrible, horrible. Yeah, see the air coming out of your nostrils. Every time, ah, I caught you red-handed then. Look at you. Every single time that he comes in and manages to sneak into Banksy's stable before Banksy, he goes and rolls, doesn't he, Banks? Rescued my little mate, <laughs> he's cold. I'm gonna come in, oh yeah, and guess who um, stupidly left their wellies outside in the rain? 
me. Hey, <laughs> how to vlog vlog is completed. I literally just switched off, got everything done this afternoon. Took me from like three till half past five, two and a half hours. I don't think that's that bad, realistically. In the grand scheme of things, especially I was just a bit like, ah, about putting it together. Don't know why, don't know why, but anyways gotta crack on because the girls have just texted to say they're coming around around half past six and it is now currently 22 six and tina has diddly squat in the house food wise <laughs> thankfully they're stopping at sainsbury's and getting pizzas we're going to be naughty you can't have a girly night without having naughty food um but i haven't even got any nibbles or anything i can offer drink wise i want to get some dips and yeah so heading to co-op and getting some naughty food <laughs> i really really fancy garlic bread and i've been so 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 good all week that i think saturday night i um can definitely treat myself with some garlic bread i've got gym in the morning as well tomorrow pavel's class which is proper hardcore so must not drink too much but i'm definitely going to have a bit of an indulgent night with food tonight because i have been proper healthy all week the girlies are here sorry get when you got get you when you got a mouthful <laughs> They're like, stop! And we're having naughty food, aren't we? <laughs> um, although apparently I'm having more sauce than food. Yeah. And we're watching, what are we watching? Saturday Night, Saturday night, night Takeaway. Such a um, civilised night in. <laughs> Why are you on that, Steph? I'm not pregnant again. <laughs> 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 Bless you. You never come here and just drink squash or juice. We'll have a gin in the hot tub. I'll have one in a minute. That's yeah. the first. Yeah, we'll have a gin in the hot tub. The um, what is it? Ginger and rhubarb, rhubarb is going down rather well. You have to try one of them in a minute. Was it the Whit the Whit yeah, Whitley, Whitley Neal. Mm. Yummy. Really nice. No, is he sitting there smiling, waiting for a photo? We're waiting for a photo to be taken. Thanks for cooking, chef. Oh no, you didn't. I didn't cook. <laughs> oh, my boy boys are in bed waiting for me. All right, Sam Sam. Hello, Puss. <laughs> Bedtime. Hi, Bubba. Come on, you. I'm in a hurry, as per usual. And I've got to be really, really careful because <laughs> I've got Robbie's wellies on. I'm rushing because Andrea's picking me up in like 30 seconds get to the gym the boy banks so all go as per usual but look again the blue sky this makes me happy <laughs> all right let's see who hurts the most after today ladies <laughs> yeah what is she doing that's why she enjoys this class so much you can have all of them i don't need them <laughs> Sweat it out, sweat it out. Meh to that moment when you realise you didn't charge your watch. Meh. May as well leave that off. Let's do it. Oh, Andrea, I do like that. I like the glitteriness. Athletics. Oh, bit of... <laughs> to make me try and feel alive and awake and not a sweaty mess. Well, actually the headband is covering the fact that I am a sweaty mess. It's 17 minutes past 12 and Steph's test is at 20 past. I've just arrived at Coleraine. Gonna head up, oh no, and it's just started to rain. <laughs> it's all right, I can turn this around the other way and it's waterproof. Let's do that now before I get out. Hopefully I am here in time to see a test. I'm pretty sure I just saw a gray go past in the warm up. <laughs> Didn't anticipate rain, it was blue sky and sunny at home. Oh, oh, don't back into my car, thank you, Pony. Let's get out there. And go cheer her on! Ah, I am in time! Hey! Comfy? Oh, good. Yeah, I can do. I'll put it in this a minute. Hello!
think that move was required in this level of test storm. <laughs> Ugh. She'll be glad that is finished. Oh, bless her. I don't think the camera actually shows quite how bad the weather is, does it? <laughs> I know. Bless her. Well survived. Do you know what that reminded me of a bit? Yeah. <laughs> that was five years ago. How much that? Oh, she was feisty, feisty. Yeah, you survived it. Good there's being a supportive friend and there's being mad <laughs> this is disgusting i literally do not envy any of you guys at the moment it's vile i think i might go and wait down in the arena for you steph <laughs> look at all the ponies with their bums against the hedge they're like no we don't want to move Play around, Stormy. Clever clocks. Well, I guess, as a walk in the park. <laughs> what else? Food. It's a fair few hours later now. The hail has thankfully stopped. The blue sky is above us. Spritey says the sun shines on the righteous. Doesn't it, Sprite? I thought she might like to get out and stretch her little leggies because she hasn't been out since Mummy left her on Tuesday. Have you, Spritey? And she's a very, very, very keen bean. But thankfully, when Sprite is a keen bean, you still don't have to worry too much. You can still do um, a nice loose rain and just enjoy it, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. My battery's pretty low on my phone, actually, so I'm gonna put it in my pocket and enjoy this ride on this feisty, whizzy little podio. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're far too strong to do this one. tell this horse she's 25 because she does not realise. Sprite! I knew she was strong on the beach. Oh, but I've never done a solo canter. <laughs> Look how fine got she is. <laughs> she's like, I want to go again in a minute. <laughs> oh yeah. Sprite, walk. Walk. Can't do this one. <laughs> you can tell she's had five days off. Sprite! Then. Does your mummy let you can to hear? Does she? Go on then. Just a little bit. You are funny, aren't you? Oh, we've missed your favourite water if we go this way though. Whoa, let's go left and go through your water. Go through your favourite water. <laughs> yes, let's go left. Go down here. And then you get to splash and clean your boots off. <laughs> You're feisty, feisty. Oh, it's flowing. Whoa, steady. Flowing quite quick today. <laughs> oh, that's your favourite thing to do, isn't it? Hey, and the other leg. Oh no, same one again. <laughs> no, you don't canter here too, surely not. Can you walk? Can you walk maybe? Sprite! I bet your mummy does fit in five or six strides to canter there, doesn't she? Because you think you should be going now, don't you? Oh, I feel like a kid. I know why Emily has to ride nearly every day now because this little pony just puts so or such a big smile on your face. I'm grinning and grinning and grinning. Every time she touches mud, she's just got to go. She's calmed down now because we're back on um, tarmac and relaxing and having doing a nice free walk on a long rain. We still get those dressage marks in. I think she'd get about an eight or nine for this. Wouldn't you, Sprite? Hmm? You collected canter a minute ago, wasn't quite collected enough. It was a little bit more like medium canter stroke, flat out gallop. Had such a lush ride though. I can see how M stays so fit. Right, is just so strong. My tummy muscles can feel it, especially after the gym class this morning. And I am sweating. I've got far too many layers on. I am absolutely boiling. Oh, I'm gonna end the vlog here guys because it's nearly half past four and I've got to go home and cook roast dinner for eight people, yay. Why I let myself in for that, I don't know. We were gonna go to the cinema, but there wasn't anything on that we fancied watching. So I was like, oh yeah, all will come two hours, it'll be fun. Oh, so I've gotta go and peel a load of potatoes and veg. And thankfully somebody else is cooking the meat. So it's not quite the whole job. I'm, do I'm doing three quarters of the job. 
over and out. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog and I will see you next weekend where hopefully, oh, I don't know what I'll be doing. There's no point me even saying that I'll be doing something. I've got no idea what's planned next weekend. But what I do know is I will be flying solo again. But I might see if Em can send me some footage to include because she's been having an epic time. If you're not already following her on Instagram, make sure you do because her store, well, actually you might not want to because it's giving me envy. Envious, not jealous, envious. That's the word. Somebody sent that to me and I was like, yes, that is the word. I'm not jealous, I'm envious. Anyways, I'm blabbing. Bye bye.